What are the main results of your most recent policy contribution? The main result of the, uh, the policy contribution is essentially uh, that it confirms that uh, the economic relation between France, Italy and Spain uh, on the one side and Algeria, Tunisia and Morocco on the other side are privileged economic relations. We find that um, their trade, investment, migration uh, and financial claims economic interaction are um, very strong and uh, sometimes even stronger than their geographic proximity would suggest. Could you tell us more about how you develop these conclusions? Um, we base the results on uh, bilateral data between, um, so trade statistics between the countries, um, uh, financial claims uh, that, uh, that banks have in southern Mediterranean countries, migration data, investment data. And um, we controlled for the size of the individual partners in this, uh, in this bilateral relations. So what we essentially did um, is we uh, assumed a sort of an economic gravity model. The idea is in a gravity model uh, that you have uh, two sides of different sizes and a distance and the, uh, the link between the two sides is defined by the, uh, by the size of the two partners and the distance between the two partners. And we now reversed this relationship by uh, uh, looking into what would the economic distance between a European country and a southern Mediterranean country be given the economic size of both partners and the uh, strengths of the economic interaction. And what we find is that, for example, for trade data, the economic distance between two countries is very close to the, uh, the geographic proximity, so the model works very well. And the same is also true for investment data and to a lesser degree for financial claims. Could you tell us what are the main policy implications of your findings? We found that there appears to be a rather unbalanced uh, relation between European countries and southern Mediterranean countries. So on the one side, uh, France, Italy, Spain have very strong interaction with Algeria, Tunisia and Morocco, while uh, the two other big European economies, uh, the UK and Germany, have uh, much weaker links to uh, these three countries. This imbalance in uh, relations also translates into uh, political relations. So, as we have seen with respect to bilateral aid flows, southern Mediterranean countries receive relatively much more aid from France and Spain than they do from, uh, say, Germany or the UK. And this shows particular uh, political attention of these northern partners to, uh, to their southern partners. And this again translates into an EU dimension, as we have seen in the past uh, with many purely regional initiatives that did not have a European dimension. The uh, countries at the northern fringe of the Mediterranean have been much more active in southern Mediterranean countries. In times where some of the uh, European countries at the Mediterranean fringe are losing some economic and um, maybe also some political weight. Um, this might be a problem for the relations between southern Mediterranean countries and the EU. Hence, it would be good for the southern Mediterranean countries, but also for uh, their northern partners, if non-traditional partners such as Germany and the UK increase their economic activities in your region.